I met Stephen and Geraldine because we were appearing together in a play in Geneva, which I was doing costumes for, and Stephen sidled up to me towards the end and said, would you be interested in doing something a bit bizarre? Our costume lady Liz was thrown in the deep side of the pool when we told her, OK, now you've got so many weeks, we want so many costumes, they have to be teeny tiny, they have to fit perfectly, they have to have the right pattern, and uh, we want them 60s. Get to it now. And she managed great, so we got so many costumes from her, they all look fantastic. The attention to detail is always really good. To research it, I was more looking at costumes of the 60s than the actual Thunderbirds costumes. And in fact, looking at the Thunderbird costumes, you can see that they got very excited by all these new futuristic fabrics like polyester, which is why so many of the costumes are very rigid on the original Thunderbird marionettes because polyester just has very little give. What works really well is anything that's a tad on the stretch side. So, for example, this um, has some elasticity to it. It's not easy to find details and patterns that work for puppets because anything, this for example, these stripes would look massive and the puppet would look well, puppet-sized. And we did find some, like Jeff's flamingo shirt, which is just gorgeous and it's perfect for Jeff. And you think, what would anyone in the real world want to use half quarter centimetre high flamingos on, on a bit of fabric for us? Very bizarre, can't work that one out at all. And you can tell Jeff's costumes. There's something a bit kind of odd about them. He's got a bit of a peacock in him. Uh, which again was a very sexist thing. I mean, it was this thing called the Peacock Revolution. Uh, bring the luggage, will you, Parker? Uh, yes, my lady. I'll have to make several trips. You've brought a lot of gear. Parker, when one's visiting, one tries to look one's best. To be honest, I don't like Lady Penelope. I really don't. She's a stupid, unnatural size and you continually have to keep saying to yourself, she's not Barbie, she's not Barbie, she's not Barbie, but she's shaped like Barbie. Again, I was quite happy when I could make her into slightly formal, more masculine clothes, if you like. 